Welcome to another Daily Dose of Drupal, everyone. I'm Shane, and as always, you can follow me on Twitter, at smthomas3, or you can go ahead and find me on Google+, or you can hop over to the CodeKarate.com website and sign up for the newsletter. Today we're going to be talking about the Better Exposed Filters module. And this is a cool little module, especially if you use the Views module often, and you use Exposed Filters with Views. Let's take a look at what it can do. One of the things it can do is it can allow you to use checkboxes instead of a multiple select box. And this is helpful because, believe it or not, a lot of users don't understand you can control and click, or use the control button or command button and click multiple options in a select box. So what this is going to allow you to do is use checkboxes to make it easier to select multiple things. It also adds some Ajax type things. Uh, allows you to use scrollable checkbox or radio lists, add help text for each filter, and use a jQuery slider for greater than, less than, or in between filters. So it's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. We have a test site up here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by downloading the views module. So the first step is going to be just building a simple view. I'm going to enable the views and the views UI module. And as soon as that's good to go, I'm going to hop up here and click on structure, click views, and we're going to create a simple view. So we're going to add a new view. So we're going to call this filters test. So we're going to show content of type all. We'll cr go ahead and create a page. And we're going to create, we'll just go a table format to keep things easy. We can show 10, that's fine. And we'll go ahead and continue and edit. So as we look down here, you can see that we have a couple pages of different types. So we're going to add a field. And we're going to go ahead and say content type. and we'll leave everything else to default. So now it shows the title with a link and the type of content. We're going to now add a filter criteria and we're going to add content type in there. And we're going to click here. This is the important part. Expose this filter to visitors, allowing them to change it. And we're going to hit single and we're going to hit is one of and we'll go ahead and hit allow multiple selections. We'll go ahead and leave it at that. Click save. As you can see now you can select multiple using the control key and if you hit apply it will filter it based on your selections. What we really want though is we want checkboxes here to make it a little bit easier. And that's where the Better Exposed Filters module comes in. So let's go ahead and use Drush to download this. So we'll download it and we'll enable it. So we have that module ready to go. We'll go ahead and hop over to the modules page. But I'm going to hop back and make sure I save my view first. Let's go ahead and open this in a new tab and we'll take a look at the Better Exposed Filters module which is down here at the bottom. You can see it's turned on. We're using the 7.x-3.0-beta3 version. <coughs> You'll also notice it requires C tools, which is required by views so that's where that requirement comes from. So the next step we'll come back into our view. We have this view that we've been working on so we'll click Edit and we'll go into this exposed filter here. So now you'll see it you don't notice anything different here. However, if we go over to the actual page, And so if you actually go to the page, you'll still see that it actually still is a select. What you need to do 
is you need to come over into this advanced section here and you click on the exposed form style and this is going to let you change what type of exposed form you have on your view. You're going to select better exposed filters here hit apply and now you can get going on changing some of these settings. And This is pretty typical of normal filters and in, there's an auto submit button which is new in Drupal 7. Be the better exposed filters actually allows you to do this in the Drupal 6 version I believe. But you can have it auto submit and hide the submit button and that's part of views. Here's the exposed filter setting that better exposed filters allows you to do. You can use the default select list.